We have an article here on our announcements section that details a bunch of the new features that are available in the 2.1 config update for CircleCI. So I wanna take you through a journey where we're gonna look at some of those new features and then we're gonna see in the end how they all tie together into something really special and really amazing. And I, I don't think a lot of people appreciate it right now, but they will in the future. And so I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into that future and why it's so special. First, let's take a really quick look at some of the things that were introduced. So we have three new keys. We have orbs, commands, and executors. Let's go through a couple of these new things. First key is commands. You can create your own custom commands. So what is a command? A command is just a collection of steps. You've been very used to writing steps out in your config.yml that dictate what needs to happen in your environment to get ready or to run your tests or for anything. Well, a lot of those steps could be packaged together or logically they make sense to be packaged together. And so why not package them together? So now you can define commands and you can collect steps together and then you can call those commands and it makes your code looks so much better. It makes the config look a lot cleaner. It organizes things better. You get reusability. Now we can reuse commands that in our config. That's really great. So what else can we do now? Now we have the executors key. Maybe you have lots of different executors. You have different environments that you want to run your stuff. So we have this executors key where you can define multiple executors and then you can define that in your job. So you get more code reuse and you can see that this cleans up your job section so much. If you have an executor here and you have the executor name, that's all. And then you, you can quickly see which jobs are running in which environment. And then you have the steps that are happening in those jobs. So commands are here. Executors are here. You're getting lots of reuse out of your configuration. That's really great. And it's going to clean up your config so that you get a much better overview of what is happening in your processes. So now we also have the jobs key. The jobs key is not new, but there's one big difference. You can use the jobs in your workflow section multiple times now. Previously, you could only use a job once, but why would you want to add a job multiple times in the same workflow if it's the same job? Well, now all of those things that I just showed you, the commands, the executors, and the jobs support a new option called parameters. You can supply parameters to your commands, your executors, and your jobs. So that adds customization on top of the reusability. So now we have a command here, copy markdown. Maybe you wanna give the option of where that gets copied to. So you create a parameter for it, and that parameter is a destination, and it's a string, and there's a description that says what it does, and you can provide a default. And so people can use this copy markdown command that we've created, and they can supply a parameter that customizes. And so now you can customize your executors, you can customize your commands, and you can customize your jobs. And that's, that's really exciting that you get so much reuse and customization. But right now, your config, it's not connected to anything else. The things that you put in there are trapped in there. But now you have a new key called orbs, and this is what ties everything together. What is an orb? An orb is simply a collection of commands, executors, and jobs, and much more in the future. But to think about it right now, let's say you create an amazing command that would be helpful for you. Maybe it would be helpful for your team. Maybe it would be helpful for your organization. Maybe it would be helpful for developers all over the world, right? Wouldn't it be great if you could put some stuff in your config.yml that helps improve your life and then take that and package it and make it so that anybody else could run that in their config? I mean, that's what has made development ecosystems so amazing amazing, right? It's like these packaging systems, whether it's Python and pip or it's NPM and JavaScript, just the ability to package up solutions and share those so that we can all build on top of each other and make things move a lot faster has been a very special thing to see in programming uh, communities.
And now that is available for your CI CD. And you can create your own custom orbs that you can reference in your config and share across all of your configurations. And so you'll see here, we have a inline orb. We're defining an orb in our orb section, which has some executors and commands and jobs. But you'll also see this interesting syntax here. We are referencing a registered orb. Yes, so this is, this is configuration and code that is usable in our config file, but it lives outside of the config file. It lives in our new orb registry where you can publish your orbs, you can search for orbs, you can see what solutions other people are creating to solve all of these common problems with building and testing and deploying software as fast as possible. So I'm not gonna get into all of the details with orbs here, but I just wanted to, to really let people understand that this is not just a feature that has been released. This is an ecosystem. And if you wanna get started with orbs, we have an open source uh, command line tool on GitHub, I'm gonna to go to the repo right here. You can see it, the circle CI, CLI, and you can download this and install it. And then you can create your own orb namespace and you can start publishing your development orbs and sharing them. And it's really cool and exciting. And there's a lot of people creating really interesting orbs. We have an orb for Slack uh, so that you can send out custom Slack messages. We have an orb for Twilio. So if you wanna send out notifications through Twilio, it's never been easier to get these kind of integrations in your config. So that was kind of the thing that I wanted to cover here. We have a bunch of new features that help with reuse. We have a bunch of new features that let you customize all that. But really the amazing thing to take away from all of this is, is that an ecosystem has been born so you don't even have to leave your desk. You can get started building your orbs right now. Download the CircleCI CLI, and that's it. Thanks for watching.